You did this to me. I can decrypt and re-encode thousands of credits in seconds, but something as simple as this, I didn't see it coming. Not in the slightest. And now because of you, my bomb's been activated. Which means I'm as good as dead. Forgive me if I don't take you at your word, since you've been lying to me from the very beginning. I've paid you well treated you with respect, and kept trouble off your back more than a few times. Look me in the eye and tell me why you've allowed this to happen to me. You owe me that much. No, but had you given me warning, I could have started researching a way to escape this place. At least had a chance. Well, now that you're here, I don't expect that you'll stay and watch my rather spectacular ending. So why don't you just get out of my sight and let me die in peace? After everything I just said, you'd still be willing to help me. I must be a complete fool. Because even though it makes no sense, I believe you. The only way to deactivate the bomb is through Delgado's computer and operations. You'll probably need his ID to get in. I don't know why you're helping me, but I sincerely hope this isn't another one of your tricks.
came back to finish the job personally? Talk sense into me? You're the one who's lost their mind. What the hell happened to you? You had Krix's legacy in your hands, and you gave it away. For what? For honor? Justice? Looking out for number one, huh? So you did pick up some of my dirty habits. Maybe I taught you too well. You know, when we were on Suvorov, I saw the potential for you to become a badass pirate. One of the best. And now you suddenly expect me to believe I have been fooled the entire time? That this was some kind of elaborate game you have been playing? No. No way. For once in your life, be honest with me. Admit that you were tempted. Well, at least we know you are still human. It is obvious that no matter what I say, you have no intention of honoring our pact. You clearly never did. I have already locked down the key and set its reactors to overload. Soon, you, me, and everyone near this station are going to be vaporized. Let's see how far that loyalty to Sistef takes you now. And spend the rest of my life in the brig without a credit to my name? Why would I do that? So you noticed. And yeah, believe me, keeping people from burying a knife in your back wasn't easy. And I suppose you want me to think it ends outside a prison cell and not in. Still, a prison door opens, just like any other. They might. And if they do, I would just be tying up their loose ends, including you. If so, letting you live might afford me some small victory. Fine. You win. Standing down the reactors. With the legacy gone, we're dead in the water anyway. But before you have Ikan to lock me up, I'm gonna leave you with some parting words. Whether you know it or not, you're damn good at being a pirate. It's in your blood. One of these days, that's all gonna hit you. And I'll be waiting for you in my cell to tell you I told you so. Survival of the fittest. So you disarm the bomb. Then, per our deal, you can tell your commander I will come peacefully. Hello. Yes, what?
impressive flying, kid. You earned your wings today. Thank you, sir. I was just trying to do my part. I believe congratulations are in order. With this decisive blow, the end of the Crimson Fleet is all but assured. But as much as I'd like to begin this celebration, technically we're still in the process of wrapping up the operation. On that note, Lieutenant, what do you have for me? Reports are coming in right now, Commander. Delgado and Shinya Voss have been taken into custody. Also, we've transferred personnel to the Key to secure the location until the United Colonies decides what they want to do with the station. And what about Neva Mora? According to our reports, Neva led the strike force that attacked the Vigilance. Unfortunately, that was the last we saw of her. It looks like she managed to escape. We don't know her current whereabouts, but I have our operations team looking into it. That's fine. Overall, excellent news, Lieutenant. I have to admit, for the first time in seven years, I don't know what to say. How about you? I know that was difficult. You hanging in there? You should be. What you've done to serve the UC in this short amount of time is more than most people could hope to do in their entire lives. If Mast isn't already printing up a batch of recruitment posters with your face on them, they should be. I've twisted arms and cashed in some favors at Mast. I wanted to make sure you got a share of the money you recovered from the legacy. Call it a reward, a token of appreciation, whatever the hell you want. But you've absolutely earned every credit. Bah, the hell with that. Enjoy the reward for once. You deserve it. Commander, are you sure you didn't hit your head during the battle? Decorum, Lieutenant? Damn. I'm going to be really sorry to see you go. You've really become an important part of our team. It won't be the same around here without you. Although, if you feel like staying aboard, I'm sure I could give you access to the SysDef mission board. That is, if you can stand spending another minute with us on Vigilance. Excellent. I'm happy we haven't somehow frightened you away. Anyway, enough talk. You've earned a break, and I'm sure you wish to celebrate. Here's your promised reward. Wherever you might find yourself, my best wishes travel with you. It's good to have you back. Excellent. Let me have it, and I'll upload it to our database. Wow. That's a hell of a story. I still can't believe Crix ended up being marooned on the legacy. All that wealth. And the only thing he could do was stare at it. Can you imagine? I almost feel bad for him. He must have driven the guy crazy. Find anything else? All right. Keep up the good work. I'll be here if you have any more questions. You have permission to speak freely. 